Like what I, I love doing, and I think you do have the room for it, is with again with that up light. I would try and get one on both sides of the front archway and front entryway here. And I don't know, you guys are just lucky in the U.S. Um, when they build houses, they just they have so many uh, so many nice fronts of the houses where I just I feel like we don't get that as much, um, at least where I live. Uh, so usually you guys can do a better job with landscape lighting, but I would definitely have those on both sides of these columns that light them up as well as get some light to the top section here. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this video with some more great landscape lighting tips. To learn more about landscape lighting, go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or if you want to see what a real quality landscape light should look like, go and check out our Try It Before You Buy It offer where you can get a premium quality fixture at a discounted rate with your very own battery pack so you can go and test out how that light's going to look and feel what a real premium quality light should look like. So go and check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or go watch more videos on YouTube just by searching for The Lighting Doctor. Hey, David, uh, yeah, thanks for your pictures here. Um, you guys got a, a great house, great yard for uh, some landscape lighting for sure. Um, I'll give you a couple ideas and then, you know, from there, just let me know uh, what you like and, uh, and then we can kind of help customize a kit and put something together for you or um, you can always go about and just kind of play on the uh, on the website adding the different things to your cart um, and I can help you with that too but you know I, I like the idea of lighting the front of the house along with some of the walkway and how I would go about doing that is I'll give you a I'll give you a couple examples and I'll also mention some things that I think could really make things stand out um, if you wanted to kind of um, add those as well but I mean first off I would just try and get um, some up lights. So I'll talk about primarily some up lights, potentially some wash lights, and then uh, some path and garden lights in a, in a couple areas. But with the up light, I would definitely have that um, at the base of the house here. And you don't want them too far back. I find too many people bring them out and shine it at the house and it creates a very flat light. You want it closer, maybe 12 to 18 inches back, shining more upright. And it really helps uh, bring out the subtle subtleties and the nice rock you have, the siding. Um, and it just makes everything look better. So I would have one of those at the base here and one at the base here, both kind of shining up on both sides of the windows. So it gets the shutters and the house. Um, I would do the same on this side over here. The nice thing is you do get some nice reflective light back down on the bed, which will help highlight some of these areas. Um, and then in between <clears throat> where I have those, that's where I would probably put some path and garden lights to help highlight the walkway. So for example, if you have an up light here and an up light here, you might throw a path and garden light on the corner kind of one in between the window here, maybe one over here, another one over here, and then um, and then another one kind of over here because I also want to highlight this front section. So I would use that same light that I just talked about. The only difference is these come with a standard four watt LED, um, sorry, four watt LED lamp in it. Um, whereas on some of those second tier uh, portions of the house here, we want to use something a little bit brighter. So we usually upgrade it to like a, a 35 watt equivalent so it's um it's a five watt led lamp and what that's going to do now is it's just going to push that light a little bit further up the house so i would probably have two of those kind of right about here not quite on the edge but um kind of on the edge of the window here that again is shining pretty uh, upright fairly close because you really want to show the nice subtleties in the um uh in all the um brick that you have there um and then on the front of the house here i'm just trying to see like what I, I love doing, and I think you do have the room for it, is with, again, with that up light, I would try and get one on both sides of the front archway and front entryway here. And I don't know, you guys are just lucky. In the U.S., um, when they build houses, they just, they have so many, uh, so many nice fronts of the houses where I just, I feel like we don't get that as much, um, at least where I live. Uh, so usually you guys can do a better job with landscape lighting, but I would definitely have those on both sides of these columns that light them up as well as get some light to the top section here uh, and really make that section stand out. And then I would follow that theme over here where I would also light this column. Um, a, because they're white, the nice thing is you get a lot of reflective light too, so it really makes them stand out. And then that light kind of hits this top soffit area and lights up the porch a little bit as well as some of the landscape bed. So I like doing that in those areas for sure. Um, yeah, you've got lots of, lots of room here to kind of get those lights behind these shrubs, lots of room to get the path lights kind of in front here um, and then uh, and then the other thing I would do is I would definitely consider uh, lighting the second story peaks and maybe not all of them I mean here you're gonna get most of that light up top but if you wanted to do something really cool to elevate things is you could actually mount a light up here 
up here and up here to light the second story of the home. Um, it's always something you can add later. I find what a lot of guys do is they'll uh, light everything from down below first, and then um, I usually get an email about a week later saying, you know what, we want to go ahead and, and illuminate that second story a little bit better. Uh, and we can do that with these gutter mounts that we have. They're actually quite easy to install, um, and the light just easily screws into them. So I'll just show you what those look like. Um, but it's basically these guys here that fits right in the gutter and then the light just screws right into there as opposed to a ground stake. And it's easy to get the wire up there. Usually we just run it, you know, right up the downspout across the gutter. All the connections are waterproof so you can make them right there. Uh, get your gutter mount in there and then have it shine in those uh, three areas. So that's something you could definitely do. If I look um, a little bit more at the uh, front bed you have here, I mean, I would definitely try and get an up light on this guy here. Um, the nice thing is if you do that, it is going to create, again, some kind of reflective light that's going to help light these areas a little bit. Um, you can put lots of path lights or a few path lights, but I I never like to put too many. I mean, I think if you were going to throw a path and garden light in there, if you have one over here, then it might be nice to kind of get one over here on the other side of the walkway to help light the walkway. And then you might want to do kind of one back here kind of in between where you have the uplights on uh, the front facade of the house. You have this uplit, and then you might want to throw one uh, where you have some of these more prominent flowers, um, but I probably wouldn't do a whole lot more than that. The nice thing is with our with our kits and when you order our lights, it comes with the this Instalite, uh, which is this little battery pack that you can actually go and plug some of the lights into, and then you can go and set them in some of these locations to find out exactly what's going to look best and where you want to place those lights before you go and make anything permanent. So it's a really nice little tool. Um, and then the only other area I was going to say you might want to add something is you may want to also accent this tree and just run that wire from, uh, from over here to this front, throw an up light on there, and then maybe just one or two uh, path and garden lights on both sides just to kind of have a nice balance of some up light and then balance it out with some down lighting down below. Um, and that's really where I would where I would start with. So, I mean, let me know what you like uh, with those ideas, David. We can uh, put a kit together for you or feel free to just go. You can go play around on the on the website a little bit, add the different lights to your cart. Um, and then uh, you probably want to look at a, a transformer and a wiring kit. Something like this, uh, this has a 150 watt transformer, 250 feet of wire, some connectors. Uh, the only thing is you may want to consider adding an extra roll of wire to your kit, uh, especially if you're thinking of adding any extra lights to that front section, that last section that I talked about. Um, but again, if you're not sure, let me know. We can customize a kit for you. We do it all the time. And if you have any other questions, I can definitely help you with those too. All right. Thanks, David. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video presentation with some great tips and tools on how to go and properly and effectively light up your landscape. And be sure if you want your own free consultation video, just send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and we'll get back to you with some really cool ideas and ways to go and effectively light your property. And be sure to watch the videos after this one for more tips on how to install landscape lighting as well as how to light up your landscape the best way possible.